Hi, I am Umair from Learn Bio with Thinkers of Biology. Today we discuss about the snap deer. Never forget to share your love by like, share and subscribe Thinkers of Biology. So we provide you the more quality and research based knowledge. Then why have to wait? Let's discuss about it. Swamp deer, Rusarvas duau sally, identification of swamp deer. Swamp deer, also known as Bara singa, or the swamp deer, is a large deer species native to the Indian subcontinent. It's distinguishable by its impressive antlers, which can possess up to twelve tines, giving it the name Bara singa which means 12 times in Hindi. Morphology of Swamp Deer The morphology of Swamp Deer, Rusarvas duau sally, is a distinct and well adapted to its habitat and lifestyle. Body Size and Build Swamp Deer exhibit sexual dimorphism, with males being larger and heavier than females. Adult males can weigh between 172 to 80 kilograms or 365 to 620 pounds while females typically weigh between 120 to 160 kilograms or 265 to 350 pounds they have a robust build with strong legs adapted for traversing marshy terrain coat color and texture the coat of swamp deer varies in color depending on the season. During the summer months, it tends to be a reddish brown or golden brown color, while in winter it becomes darker and more grayish. Therefore, it is quiet and dense, providing insulation during colder periods. Antlers One of the most striking features of swamp deer is their antlers which are present only in males. Antlers typically start growing in spring and are fully developed by late summer or early autumn. They are branched and can have to 12 tines. Although the number can vary, the antlers are shed annually after the mating season and regrow in the following year. Facial Features Swamp deers have a distinctive facial profile with a long, tapering muzzle and a large, dark eyes, positioned on the sides of the head, providing a wide field of view. Their ears are large and rounded, capable of detecting sounds from various directions. Tail The tail of swamp deer is relatively short compared to other deer species. It typically measures around 10 to 15 centimeters or 4 to 6 inches in length. The tail is usually held erect while the deer is moving, but it relaxes when the animal is at rest. Hooves Swamp deers have cloven hooves, with each foot divided into two toes. This adaptation allows them to navigate through various types of terrain, including marshes and grasslands, with relative ease. Their hooves are also well suited for digging, enabling them to access water and forage buried vegetation. Taxonomic classification of swamp deer Kingdom Animalia Phylum Quadata Class Mammalia Order Artiodactyla Family Cervidae Genus Rusarvus Species Rusarvus duauselli Habitat of Swamp Deer Swamp deer primarily inhabit the tall grasslands and swampy areas of the Indian subcontinent, particularly in areas like indo gangetic Plains and the Nepal's Terai regions. They prefer areas with tall grasses and abundant water sources. Feeding of Swamp Deer As herbivores, swamp deer graze on a variety of grasses, aquatic plants and shrubs found in their habitat. Their diet consists mainly of grasses, but they also consume leaves, shoots, and fruits 
depending on seasonal availability behavior of swamp deer the behavior of swamp deer reservoir dwarf sally is influenced by their habitat social structure and seasonal variations social structure swamp deers are also social animals that typically form herds especially during the non breeding season these herds can vary in size ranging from small family groups to larger aggregations consisting of tens or even hundreds of individuals within these herds there is a hierarchical structure with dominant males leading and defending territories during the breeding season activity patterns swamp deers are primarily crepuscular meaning they are most active during dawn and dusk during the hotter parts of the day they tend to rest in shaded areas to avoid excessive heat their activity levels may also vary depending on seasonal changes with increased movement during the cooler months and reduced activity during the heat of summer feeding behavior as herbivores swamp deer spend a significant portion of their day feeding on grasses aquatic plants and shrubs they use their specialized muzzles to graze on grasses close to the ground and can also wade into shallow water to access aquatic vegetation feeding, feeding bouts are interspersed with periods of rest and rumination during which they regurgitate and reach you partially digested food to aid in digestion communication swamp deer communicate with each other through a variety of vocalizations body postures and scent marking during the breeding season male emit loud calls known as bugling to attract females and intimidate rivals females may also emit soft grunts or whistles to communicate with their young or, or signal danger territoriality and mating behavior male swamp deer exhibit territorial behavior particularly during the breeding season when they compete for access to females dominant males establish and defend territories using visual displays vocalizations and physical confrontations with rival males mating occurs during the monsoon season typically from july to september with females giving birth to calves between february and april after a gestation period of about 8 months migration and dispersal swamp deer are not known for long distance migrations but they may exhibit seasonal movements within their rain in search of food and suitable breeding grounds dispersal of young individuals particularly males may occur as they reach sexual maturity and seek to establish their own territories reproduction breeding typically occurs during the monsoon season between july and september males compete for females by displaying their antlers and engaging in vocal displays after mating female gets state for around 8 months with birds occurring between february and april fertilization fertilization in swamp deer occurs internally with females giving birth to live young after a gestation period of about 8 months typically a single calf is born also twins can occur rarely medical importance of swamp deer swamp deer do not have significant medical importance in terms of direct interaction with humans however they play a crucial role in maintaining the ecological balance of their habitats their grazing habits can influence plant communities and they serve as prey for predators contributing to the overall health of the ecosystem ecological importance of swamp deer Swamp deer are considered a keystone species in their habitat. They help maintain the balance of grassland ecosystem through grazing which prevents the dominance of certain plant species and promotes biodiversity. Additionally, they serve as prey for large carnivores 
contributing to the intricate web to learn about the snap deer animal if you want to gain knowledge about another animal then don't forget to share your love by like share and subscribe thinkers of biology see you soon see you next sunday bye